But on the other hand, when they see people on social media, they really believe that their life is perfect. And it's, it's like, it doesn't make sense, but this is how people see that. Like this person is really happy. He's not a facade of being happy. This person that I go to get, went to school with, or he is really happy, but my life is mediocre or, mm -hmm. or less. Yes. So there's tons, that? tons of comparison going on and that comparison causes us lots of uh, self-judgment, shame, anxiety, Yes. Yeah, so on an individual level, social media by and large is uh, a, a negative. And most people, when they are uh, asked how they feel before, during and after social media, they usually feel best before they get on it. <laughs> they usually feel bad when they're on it. And they usually feel terrible when they're getting off of it. And so the highest feelings are usually prior to getting on it. So it's not really doing a good enough job of transferring our um, authentic lives. If you are more committed to national unity than partisanship, please check out my book, The Second Civil War, A Citizen's Guide to Healing Our Fractured Nation. My book will challenge you to improve your relationships with friends and family. Click the link in the description below.